today's lesson is 15th lesson the industrialization and social change now the major industrialization has started in europe especially in great britain in england new south wales all these regions together they acquired the industrial growth the period between 1780 to 1850 was a time when the britain has achieved its full length development in the industrial sector that is the reason why it is known as first industrial revolution the first industrial revolution has played a crucial role on the handicrafts and the handloom industries in this lesson we are going to study the impact the development and the course of its journey how did the handicraft industry has moved on and how did it influence the people's life how the others even though they were not educated how they were able to make their fortune how did it bring development for the poor people what about the working labor did it influence them or did they get benefits from this or not now in this lesson when we are discussing about this 1780 to 1850 period we came to know about this period because it was the great change which happened in the technology science and everything which innovated new things new changes and new developments which brought fast track speed development in britain and which later on impacted to the other countries one more advantage what the britain is having is britain had good transport facility where it compared to germany or in france where it got good access to the other nations also and transport facility also was very convenient for them at very cheap cost they have the availability of iron they have the availability of coal in a bulk amount when compared to france and germany which also added the advantage when compared to the other european nations these all were discussed and this made the fortune for many middle class people to turn into multi millionaires because of the expansion of trade and these people who kept their investment in these industries were neither well educated in science and technology or well educated about the chemicals and the industry of the chemical patterns and all but they have done their investment and they were able to be successful lack of knowledge also got advantage because of the scientific developments which happened during that period but even then though it has brought good fortune for many of them still the condition of the workers was worst poor condition was still in existence and poverty was there along in their in their lives these all were added for them and it could not improve the condition of the workers to a larger extent and while when we discuss about the wealth or investments towards the industries the industries have good sufficient amount of investment for them available in britain because obviously most of them are coming from the rich backdrops so they could not find any difficulty in investing in a particular industry to get it run and which may in future get extra benefits for them this all were discussed by people like georges michelet in france to study about the developments of this period especially from 1780 to 1820s then it was again described by friedrich engels of germany to analyze the conditions what happened and we also have person from england mr arnold tony b who was a well known educated economist as well as a professor of english who studied economical conditions clearly and mentioned about the developments of the industrial period especially in britain why should we focus only on britain we'll discuss now why britain why should we study the britain as a base for the industrial revolution as we have discussed earlier the first industrial revolution was started from britain the period from 1760 to 1850 so why do we focus only on the britain because britain has been the workshop of the world britain is considered as a workshop of the world because most of the inventions most of the discoveries most of the investment which is done in the industries was seen to be fruitful only in the workshops of the world where every research was done clearly and made an effect that it should reach to the success of its point so in this process of its journey it has to have the benefits what england is having is the modest climatic conditions it has very good climatic conditions which supports 
truly for cotton crop and cultivation later we have the availability of abundance of coal and iron simultaneously which also provide for us good supply for electricity good supply for maintenance of the products making of the products of industrial products which need heavy amount of iron to be cut and shapes way to be made and all these things we need coal to burn it so in order to transport we have very good facilities of transport also available for england in comparative with germany and france so these all made very good availability of all these things made england to turn as a very good investment place and also that investment has to be done in the proper manner and proper channel so that you get better benefits so the role played by the bank of england in setting up the joint stock exchange companies the london stock exchange all these things also made the right place to get the investments done where you can hope your investment will be back and just availability of the money doesn't make much sense if you don't invest it properly so the investments which are made by the bank of england has given a clear idea for all the people where to invest the money and from where to put off the money so that they can reap the fruits of it in a successful manner and we also have one more interesting factor is that the availability of workers are in plenty because we have the intercontinental transportation of the labor also for england wherever from africa from the other colonial places wherever they need they used to transport the workers and they used to maintain that bulk of workers available for them in large number so that any industry do not get any problem in getting the workers so we have cheap labor we have good availability of climatic condition then we have cotton which is very suitable for the cotton crop the climatic condition fits it then we need coal and iron which is also available for us and we have people ready to invest on that and we have the people ready to work on it so this has made england or great britain to be industrially well developed and well connected and almost in every place they have discovered a machinery and the unprofitable agricultural sector was replaced by the industrial revolution and the industrial machinery has taken over that one and now they have every other alternative other than the agricultural sector to provide the livelihood for the people and the investments were done in the positive manner so that they can get the reap of the fruits what they have done it so these all added for england to turn the scientific knowledge into machinery and use the machinery in the appropriate manner so that they can achieve success in the industrial field which made in england to get the first industrial revolution and called as the workshop of the world